for the pre-op diet. Today I noticed my body just feeling a little bit weak because food has always been my fuel and not eating as much, oh, I could completely feel the difference. Weak and tired and cranky and um, it was easier not to be tempted just because I was in a cranky mood and I'm like, <laughs> want to eat you know kind of attitude okay so what I had for lunch today was um, a piece of string cheese um, it was low fat string cheese it wasn't high fat and then um, another protein shake along with this cottage jump doubles strawberries um, it's low fat cottage cheese and strawberry topping 100 calories in all um, it's actually really good it's 2% milk fat 2% milk fat, low fat cottage cheese, and strawberry topping. <laughs> these are super delicious. I'm gonna be eating a ton of these at post op. These are really good. So, I also know that, okay, I went to the GNC store today and I purchased quite a few things. Um, invested in some money and some stuff because I've been watching a lot of videos and um, reading a lot of stuff that a lighter me is giving me as far as like what to eat and giving me ideas and stuff they said biotin was the best for hair care and nail care because sometimes weight loss surgery patients don't get enough of protein to uh, fill what's going on um, and they eventually lose hair or their nails get frail which I have fake nails so um, I won't have to worry about that nails but I bought this at the GNC store it's 10 thousand micrograms of biotin that is like triple or quadruple the size of a daily dose so I'm gonna be taking these once a day they're soft chews you just soft chew them until they're pretty much dissolved in your mouth and swallow because um, obviously I can't chew anything hard they're very soft they're not like a starburst that that's hard but they're very chewy and soft it's biotin an important B vitamin that promotes healthy, lustrous hair and resilient nails. So, uh, doctors recommend biotin if you want um, your hair to stay healthy and your nails to stay healthy. This is definitely recommended. This has 32, so it's one month supply. I got this, it had a coupon on the back, a $5 coupon from GNC. So that was really cool, I got $5 off of this. I don't remember, I have to get my receipt on how much it was. Um, the next item I got is called Performix SST Suspension Super Thermogenic. It takes that extra fat to melt off. Um, I will not be able to take these until a month out from post-op surgery. Um, so, but I have these around now. There, it's a fat metabolism enhanced mental focus. Uh, it has only 10 calories. And it has vitamin B12, which is super important after the weight loss surgeries, you need vitamin B12. That helps with your hair follicles as well. This has a thousand micrograms vitamin B12 in it. Uh, has this little bit of caffeine, which wakes you up, which is fine. And has all other natural stuff in it. Um, yeah, so this stuff is really good. Uh, the guy at the GNC store was telling me about this. Um, I think he was just trying to sell me on it. I'm gonna try it and see if it helps keep me feeling good. Oh, look at this, I just opened it. It's like a bottle. Ugh, I can't even get it out. Oh, it's like a capsule. So I may, I may be able to take it before and just dump the stuff on into my mouth and take a drink because if it's a capsule, I can open up the capsule. Let's take a look. I don't know if you guys can see this. I'm not sure if it it'll, has some sort of oil substance in it and little beads that are released into your body when you swallow so this will be good this will be good to take um, I could probably take this without trying to swallow the whole pill it'll probably taste disgusting I don't know what kind of oil is in there but I'll, I'm gonna try one and see uh, one 
post-op surgery. Anyway, um, this is good to help keep your digestive system working well. Um, that way your stomach doesn't get sick. Uh, the next thing I got is complete protein whole food base bar with flax and chia. Um, they are peanut butter cookie dough and I eat flax and chia seeds all the time in my cereal already. It's no artificial flavors, colors, sweeteners, or sugar alcohols. So there's no sugar alcohols in these. I'm sure it'll probably taste like cardboard, but when you haven't eaten anything, I bet you this will be heavenly. So um, it's got 20 grams of protein in one bar. I recommend these. I haven't tasted it yet. I'm not gonna taste it now. Maybe tomorrow I will taste it. Gluten-free, functional flavor, non-GMO, banned substance, free so I like I said I'm sure it'll be almost tastes like cardboard but like I said before again um, it'll probably taste heavenly without having eaten anything solids for a long time and my last but not least is this vegan one it's um, plant-based protein so each serving has 20 grams of protein so if you get one bar of the peanut butter cookies, uh, 20 grams of protein, one scoop of this, 20 grams of protein, um, one of these protein, um, you know, I don't think this thing has protein in it. Um, I, I'm pretty much three quarters of the way already done and I can eat these in the morning or for lunch and then I'm already almost done with my protein intake for the day. So. Um, I'm gonna try this tonight for my dinner. I haven't had dinner yet. So nutritional shake, all-in-one French vanilla flavor, gluten-free, no sugar added. Has 20 grams of protein, six different kinds of greens in it, plants. 50% of your vitamins and minerals. It has fiber and that's important because when you have so much protein, you get constipated. So you need to add fiber to the diet. Um, Omega-3s, antioxidants, probiotics, and 160 calories. I also have a pill called Keybiotics. I saw a commercial on it one day and has all the probiotics into one pill. I got it, I don't take it right now, but I'm gonna save it for after because I'm sure I'm gonna need that for digestive health as well because when you're cutting 85% of your stomach, yes, you need to have something for digestive health. <clears throat> and I'm gonna try my best to not get constipated, to not get, um, what do you call it, um, painful stomach sores, you know, and I see that a lot. I see people three weeks after uh, surgery going to KFC and seeing if they can eat chicken there. What? Come on. You guys need to take care of yourself. There's a reason why there's a lifestyle change. It's a lifestyle change. You don't go back to eating those nasty foods. Besides KFC and greasy foods are probably some of the worst things you can eat um, without the surgery. Anyway, done with that rant. So yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to trying this. I like French vanilla. I'm partial to French vanilla, as I said on yesterday's video. Then he gave me a bunch of free chewables. I have no idea what these are. I think they are biotin. I just tried one and they are so delicious. You can eat them like candy, they're soft chews. No idea, there's no thing on it. So I think it had, it's the biotin chews, just different flavors and different colors, so. Anyway, um, I did lose a pound and a half, uh, 1.3 pounds. So I was 214 yesterday, today I'm at 213.2. .2. That means I'm almost uh, at 212. I'd be so happy if I woke up tomorrow and I was at 212. <laughs> yes. So total poundage lost so far is five and a half, six pounds, which is great. I'm just still in disbelief on, you know, what's how much weight I'm losing so fast, but it's because you're starving yourself. This is not uh, recommended. You don't need to starve yourself to lose weight. Um, and the only reason why we go on pre-op diets, like I had said before, is to make your the fatty liver a lean liver so you're not it's, it's easy for them to get in there for the weight loss surgery so it's not a recommended daily diet normal anyway you need to have normal foods um which will eventually come after pro stop i've been talking way too long i'm gonna say goodbye um so day number three went well um i'm like i said i'm feeling a little bit of weak and tired 
Um, it probably doesn't help because I had a, a wonderful day yesterday. I did a lot yesterday. I'm going to post some pictures at the end here so you guys can see my befores. I'm very, very, very shy and embarrassed about my body. Super embarrassed about my body. And I'm opening up to you guys. And I really hope that, you know, I don't get any judgments or anything. I'm just... I'm very embarrassed about it. And I usually just cover my body typically when I go out with t-shirts and jeans and stuff. I'm just not happy. That's why I'm changing because of my health and my body and just, I just need to change. So anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thumbs up and we will see you guys all tomorrow for day number four. Love you guys so, so much. Ciao. I'm not afraid. I'm not